All right. Now, if you guys remember, two years ago, we went to this restaurant just up here called Kafana Marak, where we declared it was the best restaurant in the world mm -hmm. because of the incredibly good grilled meat. But actually, we enjoyed every single thing they prepared for us. So, naturally, we are back this year to eat some more grilled meat. And after we eat here in Niche, we will drive to Leskovac, yeah. which we're being told has the best grilled meat in all of Serbia. <laughs> True. So prepare for the best restaurant in the world versus the best grilled meat city in Serbia showdown. It's only an hour away. We'll eat here, drive there, eat again. What could be better than that? Ready. Meat for lunch, meat for dinner. Let's go. Let's go. First things first. Jebeli. Jebeli. Plum rakia. Very good. Very good rakia. Very good rakia. I've never been this excited to eat a meal. <laughs> this is the best grilled meat you're gonna find. <laughs> I'm excited for this. Oh, me too. All right. First things first. He said spicy bread with cheese. Mm -hmm. Appetizer, I guess. Appetizer. So, oh my God. to be clear, everybody, uh, we were here before. We have a relationship with the guy who works here, Vladimir, super nice guy. He said, I'll prepare something nice for you. So we don't even know what we ordered. He said, I got you covered. So first things first is uh, spicy bread with cheese. Mm -hmm. Let's enjoy it. I know cheese itself is going to be so good. It looks like it's going to be almost like a Shopska salad cheese, the way it's kind of shaped like that, right? Yeah, it's like a bread salad. <laughs> bread salad. It smells like uh, olive oil, chili, uh, chili powders, and some kind of herbs. I don't know. <laughs> I love the idea of bread salad. <laughs> mm. Something new. It's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. What do you taste? You taste cheese mostly or spicy? Spicy. Okay. And cheese. Good combo. Mm. And more is more. coming. Thank you. Yeah, more is coming. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, okay. yeah, we got more. Three appetizers. So we got the bread, the bread salad. The bread salad. Which is quite good actually with the cheese in it. Yeah. Uh, the cheese is amazing. Naturally. Yeah. This one has got kaimak and what is this? This one is kaimak and this one is uh, peppers. Peppers with cheese. Kaimak and peppers with cheese. Oh my god, we're gonna be so full with just the appetizer. <laughs> we haven't even gotten through meat yet. Okay, one scoop for me. One scoop for you, one scoop for me. Yeah, and one scoop for you, Lynn. Okay. And this right. is gonna be for you, Ivana. This is just spicy pepper and some spices. Okay, let's, that let might me be try the Kaimak. Ivana, Ivana meal. Kaimak and uh, spicy bread. Oh, that's gonna be so good, Ivana. Impossible to dislike. I tell you what, last time we were here, we were obsessed with the grilled meat. I think Vladimir is trying to impress us with the other dishes at this point. <laughs> good? Mmm. Not in your mouth. You know what? I like the Serbian cheese because for me it's not too salty. It's just perfect. True. True. Because I don't like the overly salty cheese. Right. But Serbian cheese is perfect. And the, the texture of the Serbian cheese is always very good. The creaminess is just really melt in your mouth. Where uh, Ivana's face does that thing. <laughs> Alright, appetizers. Rakia and mm -hmm. then meat. These are the days you love to be a food blogger. Let's eat. Mm -hmm. And it goes well with Rakia. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. It does, thank you. Okay. Right. Salad and Rakia. Oh. And the salad is good. I don't know how to make a like, tomato salad so good. What's your favorite appetizer here? You got bread salad, you got tomato salad, you got cheese and kaimak, and you got spicy pepper. Let me try the spicy pepper actually. I think my favorite is the bread salad. It's so good. Oh, it's spicy. Is it spicy? <laughs> oh my god. It's good bro. <laughs> What would you say is your favorite appetizer? Obviously, the Kaimak is amazing. Mm -hmm. I like the bread salad, it's new. Bread and mm -hmm. cheese appetizer. Spicy bread and cheese, very good. Mm -hmm. 
You're saying tomato salad. Yeah, I don't know how to make a tomato salad so good. Good question. How? We all know Kaimak is good. We all know cheese will be good. Mm -hmm. But tomato salad? Yeah, good question. The dressing and the mix in it is just incredible. Yeah. Very good. Prepared with skill. Mm -hmm. Listen, save some space. We'll finish this up and then the meat is coming. Save space for the meaty bun. Okay. <laughs> What's this? Zucchini? Uh, from from uh, cheese. Ah, cheese. Well, from cheese, uh, but uh, very fat. Fatty and cheese. Caloric, yeah. With zucchini on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looks good. good. Thank you. Five appetizers. Thanks, Father Mary. <laughs> Actually, this one might be the best one. Mm -hmm. Okay. The melted cheese on top? Come on. Come on. <laughs> this is going to be the best one. I already know. He brought the best for last. 100%. Best for last. Mm -hmm. Be honest. I can smell the cheese actually from this one. Mm -hmm. I can smell the cheese from here. Best one. Best appetizer. The cheese is a bit smoky. Taste it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you like that the best. That's one, but very impressed with uh, what we're calling bread salad. Ooh, mix it. Bread salad, kaimak, and some zucchini cheese. Don't be sure. Yeah. <laughs> mm. It's so good. I love this. It's just olive oil and chili and bread and cheese. Actually, you're right, Ivana. I gotta watch out. Don't eat too much bread. I gotta stop eating this bread salad. It's too good. No more bread. Save room for the meat. Listen. Five star food. Let's be clear. Six star food, and we haven't even got to the grilled meat. Just nice. Very can't beat it. Absolutely can't beat it. Good luck. Let's go eat. Uh, oh my gosh, it's so good. Oh, with uh, charcoal. Yeah. Still cooking on top. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Can you see my happy face? Can you see my happy face? Okay, we got everything here. We got chapa. Chapa. We got uh, chicken. Stuff with ham and cheese. Chicken. I remember that from two years ago. Uh -huh. That's memory. Burn. I will never forget we that dish from two years ago. Pork yep. with bacon on top. Yep. We got steak yep. and pork neck. And the pork neck has a charcoal piece where it's still sizzling. If you look yes. closely, it's still sizzling. Okay, let's eat. <laughs> People are looking at our meal. They're like, mmm. We're like, yes. Let's dig in. The what should I get first? The type of food that makes you uh, make some friends. Yeah. Oh, I should dig into this first, no? Don't be shy about it. Go for it. Uh, eggs. Go for it. Oh my god. Very good. Oh my god. That's just, I was gonna put more stuff, but I cannot wait. Can't wait. Sorry. Mm. Mm -hmm. So tender. Not much spices. Mm -hmm. I can taste the garlic salt. But the meat itself is so tender. Mm -hmm. So good, Steve. Yeah. My God. Yeah. Okay, Ivana. I was really doing my best to try and be a cameraman, but it's not gonna happen, Ivana. I need to eat right now. Yes, do it. This thing I remember from two years ago. This is one of my favorites. It's actually a chicken roll, and inside is pork product. I think bacon inside and cheese, or maybe ham and cheese inside. But the way they got the chicken so tender and they kind of smashed it up and rolled it around the other meat and cheese is actually to die for. Naturally, we'll get a chebap because we are in Serbia after all. This is, looks very good. This is uh, pork and ham and cheese. Again, looks very good. And I gotta go for some pork neck. Now, this is a good looking plate, Ivana. 
what more do you want than this? With some leftover bread, uh, bread salad on the side. Now, first things first, this is a, probably be my favorite of the whole day. The way they get the chicken on the outside so tender and juicy, it's just perfection. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. This is a perfect recipe. No improvements can be made. Seven star. Chicken, cheese, and pork inside. Mm. It's so juicy and it's so tender. When you bite into it, it explodes in your mouth. It really melts in your mouth. Wow. It was so flavorful. And just simple flavors, just the meat and the cheese. That's sort of the Serbian style. They don't put a lot of spices on the food and they let you taste the ingredients. That seems to be the way. Oh yeah, don't stop. Vladimir, don't stop. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, stuffed burger. Stuffed, stuffed burger. burger. Yeah. Sausage. And sausage. Sausage. And smoked pork neck. Smoked pork neck and oh some kaimak. Now, Ivana, I'm sorry, but I can't wait. I have to go right for this stuffed burger because if you look closely, it's the uh, it's the bacon and cheese that I was just talking about. Look at this. Oh my goodness. So this is gonna be really good. This is a uh, burger, but very Serbian. The way they kind of mince the meat and mix it all together, it's not like a typical American burger. It's more like a pleshka pizza than this burger. Oh, pleshka pizza. It's like a pleshka pizza meat. You can tell by the texture, right? It's very finely done. It's all kind of one solid texture. And then cheese and bacon. Mm. 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 Very good, very good. The the plush kibitza meat gives a different, uh, different flavor than the chicken. I do really love the chicken though, but this is also very very good. Mm. Mm. Okay, one bite of sausage, just just a sip. Good looking sausage, no? Good sausage. Amazing snap when you bite it. A good sausage when you bite into it, it snaps. snaps. You know what I mean? It goes like. Yes. This has it. Good sausage. <laughs> mm. um, don't be afraid to eat kaimak. Anything you want. Kaimak and meat, always good. Mm. Mm. Okay, Ivana, it's got to be your turn to eat because it's so good. You're going to love it. <laughs> this is one of the top restaurants in the whole world. Yes. I think it's the best one. Yes. Seven star food. Oh. The grilled pork neck is so good. I love how the fat intertwines with the meat. That makes it so tender. True, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Cook perfectness. Mm. I don't know how this restaurant cooks meat so perfectly. Yeah, I think honestly, I think it has a lot to do with the supplier. I feel mm. like the quality of ingredients they're getting is better. Obviously, they're incredible chefs, they know how to grill it, but the meat quality is just better than other places. That's my guess. Because it's not easy to cook meat, you know? Sometimes it can be chewy, dry. dry. Yeah, it's never that over but here. But here it's just so juicy, juicy and tender. Tender, melt in your mouth. Now I'm trying the uh, pork neck, the uh, smoked one smoked. with kaima. Oh. Mm. They're both good. <laughs> Smoky flavor and grill. Let me try the chafat. Chafat. It's like one of the national dishes in it's Serbia, be, yeah, right? Yeah, it's gotta be. Put that with kaimak, babe. It'll be just, just right. Chafat and kaimak goes together like peas and carrots, I swear. I think it's lamb. Tastes yeah. like. He said lamb chafat. Lamb chafat, yeah. You can taste the, the meat. different flavor of the lamb. Yeah. This is lamb. Which is a good idea because there's a lot of beef and pork on the on the table, so they want to mix it mm -hmm. up. Something for everyone here. The lamb flavor is very strong. Uh -huh. It's very good. Yeah. I love it. Mm. Let me try this. What is oh, this? Oh, you're going to love this. You're going to love this. Pork with 
is, is like a like a like a plushka pizza. Oh no, this is the pork one. Yeah, yeah pork. pork. Pork, and I think it has kaima, bacon and cheese, cheese and bacon. Mm. <laughs> that one's really good, right? Yo, you wanna try my favorite one? Please try my favorite one. Okay. The chicken roll. The chicken roll for me cannot be beaten. They somehow got the chicken so thin and yet still so juicy. It's like dripping. It's mm -hmm. not dry at all. And then the cheese and and pork explode in your mouth. Try this. Try this. Try this. This for me cannot be beaten. Good, right? That's the top one for me. Absolutely cannot beat it. Wow. <laughs> Honestly, it's quality. Yeah. But also, I think it's. They're very talented skills. here. Yeah, they, they got a skill. Yeah, skills. Absolutely. Right seasoning, right timing, yeah. right temperature. Yeah. It's just, I don't know how. They perfected it. Like, if I, I can try to create this thing at home, you know, like chicken, cheese, and bacon, uh -huh. but it might be like too dry or it's, it won't be the same. It won't be the same. Yeah, I don't know how. It just won't be the same. The saltiness, the juiciness, perfect mix. Mm hmm. So tender. So tender. I love it. Mm. Okay. Smoke pork. Mm. This one is wicked so good. One of my new favorites. <laughs> good luck deciding a favorite. Get five favorites. Steve, I think my favorite so far. I think I tried. Not all the meat, but most of the meat is this one, the steak and eggs. You really? gotta try. Grab a, grab a bite. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I wanted some, I wanted some yolk in there. Steak and eggs, by the way. One of the best foods you can get, steak mm -hmm. and eggs. Tell me that's not the best one. I think it's the best one. The steak is so good. Even just by itself, if you just went for steak, Right? The cook is just nice. The, the, but you can, can see it's again. fatty. It's fatty. The it's fat so of fatty. the animal the itself. So nice. I mean, the steak itself is just so thick and so perfectly cooked. You know, it comes, it comes apart so easy. Your plate. It's so full. <laughs> Your plate is so full. <laughs> There's some magic happening here because the more I eat, the more full my plate is. <laughs> it's opposite, you know? I eat more, the plate fills up more. Yeah. Listen, seven star food. At the end of the video, we'll try to do our favorite meat dish, but it's meat. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. let's eat. Let's eat. Don't fall asleep here. Stay. Don't fall asleep. Even in the sausage itself, you can see chili flakes and herbs. It's just so flavorful. I think it's. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what happened? I'm so full, I can't talk. <laughs> I was trying to say, I think it's probably they made it right here. Yeah. They maybe. make it in house, I bet you. And the way it's sitting in a pool of Kaimak fat, look at this. Oh, yeah. By the way, I'm full already. And yeah, we still got a lot. Listen, guys, we're gonna do some takeaway if we can. If yeah. we can, we'll take it home. This but food is too good to waste. What is your top three? Top three. Yeah. The chicken is one for me. Mm -hmm. The chicken yeah. with the roll with the okay. cheese inside. One. Two. Maybe the steak and eggs. Yeah. And three. Smoky pork neck. Okay, this one. This one. For me? That's not to say the other stuff isn't good. Everything very good. Everything is very good. But just to that's be my top. How about you? How about you? The steak. Amazing steak. Okay. And then the grilled pork neck. So good. Okay, this one. Okay. Yes. And also the chicken, wrap chicken. Oh, so we have we have the same top three. We just have different pork yes. neck flavors. Oh yeah, you like the smoked one better. I like the grilled pork neck. Okay, better. there you have it. Now, what's your best appetizer? 
The tomato salad. I don't know. It's just a, it looks Love simple. That. You know, it's tomatoes. A lame pick. It's a lame pick. Tomato salad. How can they make it taste like that? It's just a simple tomato salad. You guys gotta come. Really. No. The best. Av appetizer. You can't even now. <laughs> I'm so full of meat. Best appetizer was the zucchini and cheese on top, but honorable mention was the bread pudding because bread salad. Oh, I can't talk. End of the vlog. I can't talk anymore. Oh, thank oh thanks, man. That's good. <laughs> Enough food for today and tomorrow. <laughs> thanks, man. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> and this Three is Three leche. Three leche. Three leche. Three leche. for dessert. Thanks, Vladimir. Very good. Uh, it looks good. Mm -hmm. it smells good. It looks caramel Perfect. caramelized on top. Perfect. It's like. I'm not too sure. Is it biscuit? But. So the taste is like creamy with caramel, burnt caramel, plus I think it's walnut on top. Is this a stupid question? Is it mm. cake? Not cake, pudding. Is it pudding? It's not. I think it's biscuit. Look. Oh, look biscuit. The texture. Doesn't it look like biscuit? Don't tell me there's plasma in there. <laughs> Maybe. Probably plasma. Maybe Serving it's free leche with plasma. <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> but it looks like a big lump of biscuit. It looks good, right? Very good. It's, and it's not too sweet, just perfect. Perfect to end the meal. It's good, no? I'll tell you what. I'm gonna finish it. Mm -hmm. I really thought I would have half. Let me try again. I can't talk. <laughs> okay. I really thought I would have half the dessert. I'm gonna finish it. It's kind of cooling. Yeah, it is cooling. It's pretty light. Way. It's perfect. It's the right dessert to serve. Yes. It's cool and light and delicious, and it's not heavy. It's not too sweet, not too heavy, just perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect to end the meal. And to be honest, I see a lot of people enjoying the food here in this restaurant, and no one is fat. <laughs> How could that be? It's healthy. Yeah. I mean, we ate a lot of calories, we ate a lot of food. Yes, lots of calories. But it's real food, it's meat and cheese. Yes. It's not sugary sauce. No GMO. No, no GMO. Oof. Good quality, just good quality food. Yum. Yum. <laughs> All right, in conclusion, still the best food of any restaurant, and they've added a sign outside. So inside they got the best recipes and outside they've added a sign. If you guys remember two years ago, there was no sign. Now, I'd like to oh, extend that, my... I didn't know they have the back. Oh, I didn't know that either. There's a little outside area with a sign again. Very nice. Now, I'd like to extend my sincere apologies to Vladimir for ruining his tablecloth. <laughs> I don't know what happened in there. The food was coming out. There was shrapnel flying everywhere. Rakia. I couldn't talk at one point, but he represents oh the business very, very well. Yes. I really like that Vladimir. He's serving he's so and nice. his father is in the back cooking. Yes. And they really represent the business very well. Hardworking and professional it's and family business. Like, and they really do it good. They really do it well. And it's such a yeah. nice place to eat. The vibe, the food, everything perfect. I am leaving with a full belly and lots of leftover. Lots of leftovers. So it's impossible for Ivana and I to eat again today. And I think we've got enough food left over for tomorrow. Yes. So we will delay the Les Kovitz yeah. uh, vlog. We intended on doing a two part vlog today. We'll do one video today and the Les Kovitz part two will come in the future. Yes. Because yes. we got enough food for Watch for part two, two days. of the best barbecue in Serbia. Impossible to beat that restaurant. Kafena Marak best yeah. restaurant you'll ever go to ah <laughs> uh, so good okay thanks everybody for watching and shout out to vladimir and his father amazing restaurant so good later guys